Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I don't think I'm in focus. I am now. Um, it's Saturday. Um, I think it's about 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. And today we are going into a home base. We booked a um, kitchen planning visit. Um, really, I want to see how much this kitchen's going to cost us to give us an idea. We're not ready to buy it. Um, Although we could, but I would prefer the work to be done first before we get a proper finalised kitchen plan. Um, just so I can see the space and stuff. I'll show you what we're planning to do. Um, I'll go through it again, actually, in more detail about what I want from this kitchen. Um, in terms of actual kitchen, rather than just the work that we're having done. Anyway, we're going to the home base. So the kids are... Um, at granddad's house so they don't want to sit the last time we went into home base we were going to sit there with the kids but they were like was it oliver and alfie that were with yeah, us that day they were all over the place it was annoying they wouldn't sit still so um we're booked to go just me and mark this time <laughs> so yeah anyway i'm having a coffee we're going to put around have a bit of a tidy up and then we're going to go uh to home base uh but i'll show you what 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 are we doing? Hi there, Mark. Hello. How are you? Glad to be home. Did you enjoy your trip away? Yes. Overnight? Yes, I sure did. Without the hassle of me pestering you or the kids pestering you? It was alright, actually. It was a good run. Right. Quite driving. Yeah. Where did you go? Bristol? Bristol, Warminster, and then into Birmingham, Coventry. Right. Okay, so. Um, this is the current kitchen, as you know. It's a bit of a mess, just ignore the mess. I've just ignore woken me. up and ignore Mark making toast. Right, so, <coughs> in about three or four weeks, what's gonna happen is, is that we're going to lose this portion of the kitchen. So, um, about here, it's gonna be taken out. All this corner and this door will be taken out and this wall. So, we're going to cut, for now, we're going to cut this down here. So then this portion stays the same. So we're going to measure this now. I want it replaced. I want a more modern kitchen. Um, I think I might go for gloss white and a really nice um, top, like a white granite top maybe. I do definitely want the surface to be better quality. So I don't mind having fairly cheap doors and cupboards I was even considering just changing these doors and keeping these cupboards the way they are just for ease and um, yeah cheap to keep it cheap but I'll, 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 I'll get a quote with cupboards included I ideally want them to reach the ceiling you can see that we store things up there it doesn't look very good um, yeah I would prefer them to be bigger in terms of reaching the ceiling to gain back the space in the cupboards that we're going to lose by taking that out so anyway um yeah so this side is going to be exactly the same in terms of where the cupboards are how many cupboards just different cupboards and it's going to stop here right so that's that side now this side is going to be fairly similar it's very dark in here Put the light on. You want anything to eat? I don't. Uh, not at this minute. No. <laughs> that made no difference. I just put the light on. It made no difference to this camera. This is how dark this kitchen is. But in a few weeks' time, when that door's gone and that wall, it'll be a lot lighter. It'll be a lot lighter. So, and I want a white kitchen, so that will brighten it up too. And a white top. Very white. Very white. That's a bit brighter, I think. <clears throat> right. Um. Pretty much the same cupboards and stuff. I kind of wanted an integrated, I don't know though, mm. I'm not sure about that yet. Always have look on pictures and see what they look like. Yeah, because I was thinking, because we're going to have a hob on the top, gas hob, the gas is down there, we're not changing anything about the plumbing, the gas or anything, but I don't want a freestanding cooker anymore, so just behind this, well, where that wall is now, I want a really tall cap, um, ca 
cabinet, what do they call it, that houses a uh, oven and microwave that is at eye level and then the hob here on the top with um, with drawers or cupboards underneath, you know, whatever they whatever they do in that situation. So yeah, that is the plan. This side of the kitchen is going to change drastically, whereas this side of the kitchen is going to remain the same. It's just going to be updated with different cupboards and top. And we need an extractor fan because we don't have one, um, which is not ideal. To be fair, you wouldn't think that. It was important but it really is because a lot of the cupboards i'm constantly cleaning them because there's um i'm constantly cleaning them because they're getting like food i don't know i don't know what it is grease i don't know but an extractor fan is really useful um yeah you wouldn't guess it was but it is anyway um yeah I'm going to go for now. I'm going to sit and um, just wait to go out and mark to eat because I'm not hungry at the minute. I'm not going to eat. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure he's going to watch something on the telly. Yes? I'm a bit confused. And then we need to measure. Yes. So we're going to go, once he's finished his breakfast, we're going to go measure. And then we'll go out. So I'll see you in a bit. We are just on our way out. We're going out the door to get our kitchen quote. So I'll take you with me um, to show you some kitchens. I like having a look at kitchens. Um, yeah, so I'm, we're literally walking out the door now. So I will see you in a bit. Maisie's not happy that we're going out. Bye bye. Bye bye, Maisie. Be a good girl. Anyway, <laughs> we're going. So we finished. Yep. Um, yeah, it was. It wasn't a bad quote. It had all the appliances on and things, yep. but um, my quartz worked up, <laughs> pushed up the price quite significantly. I think. I think the worktop cost more. It's more expensive than, thing. Yeah, it cost more than the entire kitchen without appliances. Things like that. So anyway, we are going, where are we going? No idea. We'll to go out somewhere, I don't know where though. Hi everyone, we're back home now. We have ordered a little takeaway of starters from um, an Indian takeaway, which is just up the road. It's really nice actually. Um, I'll show you, it's really, it's nice food from there. And it's very, very local. So we ordered from there. I'll show you. So, um, what we've got is I've just dumped all the salad because all the starters came with the salad. So I just ordered salad with everything and I'm having it all. I've um, got onion bhaji, lamb, tikka lamb I think, I'm not sure. Um, a chicken leg which Mark's having, some chips, they are really good chips. And just like a, a dip. Tray? What are they called? They call something. It's called chutney tray. Chutney tray, that's it. And some poppadoms in here. So we're just having a picky tea, basically. Hi everyone, it is now Tuesday. And I am just about to do some of my plants. I'm going to repot a load. One is like dying, basically. Um, I'll show you it. I don't know exactly how to revive him. But um, I'm going to repot some plants in my new plant pots that I got from home base the other day when I went for a kitchen quote so I got some new pots I'll show you them and then uh, yeah I will show you uh, me repotting the plants <laughs>
how I've finished. Um, I've put these three. These are three that I bought. These were on offer. That one wasn't. But I thought it'd be nice to have a variety of sizes. Um, so this is actually um, came off my plant in the bathroom that I've had for years. And um, so I've repotted him. This is the one that's dying. It used to be full of life and now it's like dead. I have to cut off the dead bits. Um, not sure how to revive him. I'm just going to keep him there for now and just keep watering him. So those three pots I bought. I also bought some little ones. I'll show you. I bought this little white one. And I'll put him in there. And I've just changed it around all the pots basically. That's fake. That's fake. And in this pot I have done a little um, cactus um, pot. That one I think is dead. <laughs> we'll try and revive him but I have a feeling that he's dead. If he won't revive then I'll get rid of him. I also got that red one up there from uh, Oh, from home home base and here I don't know if you can see these ones from my cactus pot so I've just planted them in there so yeah that's all my pots and plants repotted I am struggling to keep on top of all these plants I've got so many house plants I can't keep on top of them um what also came through the post was a new uno pack the one that we've got is a little bit small so this one's like a big proper pack um it's super mario because we quite like to have characters on the uno cards so oscar will be happy after school um mark's on his way home he's finished work it's like one o'clock um yeah so he's finished work he's on his way uh he's gonna go collect alfie and then i'm going to go get oscar because just right after school it's like meet the new teacher or something and a classroom so that's where we're going we're going to meet the teacher his new teacher um although i do know who he is um he's been teaching him on and off throughout this year anyway so he knows him very well he's very excited to have him as his teacher because he's really kind apparently this teacher and a nice bloke anyway so he's uh, he knows him already but well, let's go meet him anyway <laughs> no harm is there so that's what's pl the plan for today. Um, yeah, so Mark's on his way home, he's going to get Alfie. I'm going to go get Oscar, do that. Then he'll be excited about his Uno card. So that's probably what we're going to be doing later on this evening <laughs> is playing cards again. Hi everyone, it is now Friday. This has randomly turned into a weekly vlog. It wasn't meant to be. It was just meant to be the weekend. But yeah, we're here Friday. Um... It's Oscar's last day of school. Alfie had his yesterday. So only Oscar's at school today, but apparently they're not going to do much. What are you going to do? Um, Play board games. Watch films. Not, not just that. Mm -hmm. And assembly. So, yeah. Um, I'm just having my coffee. We've literally got five minutes until we go. So Oscar needs to get dressed. He's not even dressed yet. Um, I woke up dead early today and I'm really mad because I didn't have to wake up as early as usual. Because there's only one person going to school. Um, but it, I just, I had a nightmare. <laughs> so I woke up. Hi everyone. Today is the 20th of July, I think. Um, it's Saturday. Um, me and Mark are just preparing to go to Lizzie's house. Uh, we had this book last month, but because it was so rainy and horrible, we decided not to go and uh, wait till the weather gets better. Although it's cloudy and rainy today as well, so. But we've just decided to go. We're not messing around. So yeah, it was like last minute, like Wednesday, Thursday time this week, we were like, oh, when are we gonna rebook this party? Because it was Lizzie's birthday last month. It was gonna be like a birthday party type thing. Um, and then we just decided to do it this weekend because the weather said that it was gonna be nice, but it's very hot I'm sweating it's like muggy and hot but it's not sunny or anything it'll be fine we're gonna check out a hot tub she's got a new hot tub so that's where we're going we're going to check out a hot tub and have a barbecue party yeah. thing anyway we're going I'm, I'm a little bit scatty because I'm just making sure that all the doors and windows are shut we're gonna go for breakfast because I'm starving 
So we're going to, on the motorway, stop off, have some breakfast. Probably go to Chan at Richards to get like a little bit further down. Yeah. And um, have some breakfast and then do the rest to Lizzie's. So come with us on our little adventure to Lizzie's house. Bye. we got here we um, made well no we didn't make good time it actually was it was all right on the road it was just that it took ages I don't know what was going on so uh, yes we're having a pims pims o'clock We have been sat here having our barbecue. It was very good. Yes. Yeah, so now we're having a gin, aren't we? Hello? We're yes. having a gin. That's right, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're having a gin and relax and then we're gonna go in the hot tub. Once, and it's- Once the men are out. Once the men are out, because there's boys in there. Boys. We're gonna have a female only hot tub. <laughs> we don't want those smelly boys. Lisbeth a light, so I, I thought I'd do something interesting with the light. Well, I'm just thrusting it in and out. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything more interesting to do with it, you know? <laughs> There you go. Are you going to talk to these people or not? I'm talking to them now. Hello. Oh, excellent. Go for it. I'm in the, I'm in the hot tub and uh, I can't touch the camera because I'm, I've put my hands in the water and this is not a... Uh, but I'm considering getting a GoPro now. A GoPro? GoPro. Sorry. She's had too much wine. I have, and I'm like this at the best of times. The massive camera. Right. Oh, it's yeah. probably recording. It's like 500 pounds. Do you just hunt that? Come our way above a hot tub. No. Oh no, but she could do it. She could do it. Oh god. Is it on? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Just be careful. I'm gonna be careful. Oh yeah, you stay there. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. It's a stupid bird. Dark figure. Hi. Hi everyone. I'm out of the hot tub now. I'm just sat having a drink. Mark's here. Hi. Hello. How's your day? You tired? Yes. He's tired. And Katie's here. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hi. She had her face pierced. Again, yeah. Again. On her lip. And yeah. it's bruised and it's painful. Yeah, I mean, it's not, I suppose it's not really too painful. It's just wear it out. 
because I always have to use my mouth to either like eat or to drink something. So unlike my eyebrow or nose or ears, I have to use it. So it hurts a bit more. I'll get over it. Yeah, a couple of days you'll be fine. How is that? Hi everyone, it is now Sunday and we're in the afternoon, we've had breakfast, we watched a couple of films and now Liz is messing with her hot tub to make sure all the levels are right. It's like hard work. That's why I don't get myself a hot tub because it just seems too much like hard work. What's that increasing? Where's my scientific measure? Did you take it in oh, there? Well, there we go. The deal. It's pH 7 is like, like the, the, the thing. So it, does, it, it, does it go acid 1 to 6? Yeah, I don't know which way around it, it goes. alkaline 1 to 6? I, I can't remember. I don't know. I know that one side of the scale is alkaline and the other is the other way. <laughs> 